sleekly shaven headed, with a pirate bandana, a gangster stripped in death tattoos, and the liquid stare of an Arabian prince, Tupac Shakur was the matinee idol of hip-hop superstars, not the fiercest rapper, nor the most virtuosic or visionary, but a figure of hard ferocity, who elevated street nihilism by fusing it with a certain love-sexy bravura. For a while, he was as much a movie star as he was a rap star and he would have been a bigger one had his legal troubles not scared off the Hollywood establishment. On some level, Tupac's life always seemed like a movie playing out in front of you not just the hair triggers of bloodshed, but his whole contradictory dance of activism and thuggery, commitment, and celebrity all eyes on me, the messy, hugely flawed, but fascinating biographical drama that has now been made about him, channels those contradictions, even if it doesn't always know what to do with them comprehensive, but sketchy, richly atmospheric, but often under-dramatized, it is not, in the end, a very good movie there are a few scenes, like Tupac's initial meeting with Ted Field of Interscope Records, that are embarrassingly bad. Yet it's highly worth seeing, because in its volatility and hunger, and the desperation of its violence, it captures something about the space in which Tupac Shakur lived, a place that wanted to be all about pride and power, but was really about flying over the abyss the film is two hours and twenty minutes long, and considering that Tupac was only twenty-five when he was killed, that should be enough time to tell his story with intimacy and flow.